So I'm Robert Fuller, a wildlife artist based upon the Yorkshire Wolds in a really beautiful area. And I just love all of the hidden valleys and the dales. That's what really makes it to me, all these little secret dales where I can go off and explore and find some wildlife. Being brought up on a farm, wildlife was always all around us, so it was just part of my life and uh, very quickly became hooked on studying it, watching it, wanting to learn more. So it was just that love of wildlife turned into art and then photography and then filming, sculpture. So I absolutely love uh, trying to depict uh, wildlife in different ways. I'm lucky enough to have travelled around the world to watch wildlife, but uh, it's here at home where, you know, I do have my favourites because I know, I know the animals and I know them as individuals as well. So I'm actually trying to capture that individual character of that actual animal. I love watching the badgers and they're always a challenging subject. Uh, they can be very, uh, very wary of humans and that's because they've been persecuted for centuries. Badgers are a social animal, they do live in a clan system and it's always interesting watching the dynamics. I'm very lucky and I've been accepted as part of the clan down at the badger set. But this has not come about overnight, this has been years and years of uh, dedication uh, and trying to get them used to me. So you do little tricks like leave a glove behind, leave bits of clothing behind. It's my sense there. And uh, if it's my sense there every night, they just gradually, gradually get used to it. So this is incredible. Uh, this badger hasn't come to me for nearly six weeks now because they've been fighting uh, amongst the clan. And tonight she's just settled down and come up to me started feeding out my hand again. It's uh, a real privilege to be this close to a completely wild animal. Once you've got one badger habituated to you, it's very easy then to get others to follow. And then as cubs they learn, I'm not a danger to them, I'm not a threat, and it's uh, a very special experience, because when I paint them I can, I can actually feel the fur I can feel the claws, I know uh, all their anatomy, I can touch them, it's quite incredible. So I supplement feed them uh, so they get used to me so I can photograph them, film them, but it does have uh, crucial times as well, like this summer we had a really hard drought and a lot of the badgers around in this area actually uh, starved, especially the cubs. So this was a real crucial moment for our set and uh, being able to feed these uh, little cubs uh, a few handfuls of uh, dog biscuits a day actually kept them alive. So my favourite time of year is the uh, spring and summer with the badgers. It's really great to be able to, you know, study these badgers and watch them, look at the characters. Uh, but those moments uh, where the little cubs are running around in uh, summer evening is absolutely incredible. Each painting is very different, but it's always an exciting process. You've got to remember what it's like when you actually were watching that animal and really try and get those feelings into the painting. I'm always wanting to find out new things about wildlife, and that's the exciting bit. No one knows everything about wildlife, but it's good fun trying to uh, find out more new things.